Hi everybody, Cinema 4D Asventine is here already and it's a, a partially transformed because Maxon Cinema 4D developer is also changed. It's not a software developing company only, it's a cash and carry vegetables and fruits company as well, as you can see. Uh, I'm Pavel so from www.c4d.cz and this is a small preview of all vegetables and fruits assets I prepared for Cinema 4D R17 content browser. All these assets are part of uh, Cinema 4D R17 broadcast library. So uh, choose uh, the broadcast 3D objects and uh, here is the vegetables folder. But the folder contains an apple as well. So let's say vegetables and fruits folder. I would like to show you all these objects because I prepared all, uh, all of them, exclude the con object and few of these objects are rigged as well and the rigs are very funny and interesting I think. So let's take an in-depth look at this folder. Uh, we can start with a short preview. You have seen the yellow onion object and this is uh, the red one. Okay, let's go further and check another one. This is the basil, for instance. All objects have pretty complex materials and are ready to be used without any adjustments. So this is the basil. Uh, let's check another object, an apple, for instance. Uh, this object is for rigged already. So uh, you can adjust any aspect of a look of the object, include the texture, of course, just paint your arm, but you can model any shape of the apple you can imagine. Let's continue with the tomato object. It's also a very complex looking object, uh, as you can expect. It's for a rigged object as well, so you can tweak it and get a totally different shape. Include its leaves, shapes, and so on. Uh, as I said before, the library folder contains many objects and several of them are rigged. Let's start with the apple. Just create a new Apple object, uh, set the object and go to the Attributes Manager uh, where we can adjust many parameters of the look of the object. A size of the object controlled by the global scale vector here. So we can scale the object by the vector. And no worries about the initial size. Uh, the rig uh, is using a physical correct and natural size. Uh, here is a global deformation slider and here's an additional deformation slider. For a natural looking effect means these two values. The top cap value generates top bubbles here. Okay. And the bottom cap symbolizes here the same on the opposite side at the bottom here. We can shape the object more by the shape detail step. It controls the object tapering. So we can do the top wider or the bottom, it's up to us. Here's the stem tab, it controls all aspects of the stem detail. We can activate it here, change its length, adjust its radius, trapezium effect, random seed value and an uh, overall stem rotation. We can really generate so many apples we need. Here's the calyx step. We can control the detail scale here and adjust its vertical offset. It can be pretty helpful in case you change the apple shape dramatically and so on. Okay, so uh, this is the first rigged object I prepared. Let's delete the object and we can test another one. Uh, take the carrot, for instance because it looks very nice as well and I like the fact that the carrot material doesn't use any texture so it's a procedural material only. You will see. It's here. Just select the material and check its structure. Okay, let's study the carrot object. I will use an empty scene and here is the carrot. Load the object. It's a pretty complex object. It's fully generated and rigged, of course. Uh, set the object and go to the user data tab as usual. All its parameters are here. Anyway, in case you will find the object is too slow, turn off the expressor tag itself here. It will definitely speed up the object. 
otherwise select the object uh, this is the main distortion slider and this is the distortion size wrinkles details intensity is here it's countered by the slider and here is the wrinkles size the object uses pretty high polygon count for this nice looking effect in case you don't actually need uh, so many details you can simply decrease the polygon count by the subdivision value here so the intermediate points value controls a vertical subdivision and the rotation subdivision is here a smaller poly count makes object much faster to work with uh, but reduce some details and so on here's the overall width multiplicator value we can adjust the object length from the top and from the bottom as well and at least we can simulate a current root by the root length value here okay uh, the wrinkles value can help to avoid the wrong root details as we can see here yeah so we can tweak all values of the object get the shape we really like this was the main part of the object we can also control the leaves we can adjust their total length by this by this value here is uh, the scale and the outer radius controls outer leaves only uh, these seed controls are random look of the leaves inner leaves are rotated independently by the mid rotation value and here is their count and we can turn off the leaves uh, of course by the leaves trigger here and by doing so we will get a different look again and that's all about the current object it's a pretty complex object as you can see I hope you will uh, it will improve your kitchen renders so let's study another of my rigs go to your content browser and the rig we will study is called tomato it's another interesting object I hope you will remember the rendered picture of tomato scene so let's start and load the object into your, scene, into your project and go closer a bit and study its settings as usual so select the object and go to user data tab and we can adjust uh, almost same settings as the apple object had so here's the top width controller here's the bottom uh, for the bottom scale ratio so we can tweak the main shape of the object easily we can adjust its global size by the scale in all dimensions it has uh, the global deformation slider randomizes the look of the object the tomato cap uh, top cap simulates top bubbles and the bottom tip controls uh, bottom tip that can be positive or negative uh, this is the tip we are talking about pretty nice detail I think we can activate uh, the leaves here as well or deactivate it in case it's activated we can choose from up to four different leaves shapes those are on the list here are two five star shapes six star shape and seven star shape all these details are modeled and we can control some details of these modeled objects here's the vertical offset of its position we can adjust the fall off of random deformation here this value controls an overall noise deform uh, in deformation intensity and this controls its scale let's use a leaf uh, the pedicle activation trigger turn off the pedicle object we can control its subdivision and other details such as uh, radius height angle and so on so it's pretty interesting as you can see because we prepared many interesting objects and you can use them anytime and improve an interior kitchen scene or a cooking show jingle and so on let's check other objects of the folder all these objects such as this pepper are really well prepared fully detailed and textured they often use personal materials only and so on let's check them out 
and in case you will find a way how to improve them or simply just like them, inform me about your opinion, please. Your feedback is always very important to me. Okay, thank you for watching and see you at www.c4d.cz.